Hi, I'm Maven LaFleur. And I'm Anjane Woodson, and welcome to our final live show here at LBTV News. Last Thursday, the Communications <coughs> Department here on campus held their annual Calm Showcase. Everything was included from paintings and website designs to video and documentary work. Reporter Shaq Shanks has the story. This past Thursday, Linwood Belvo's Communications Department hosted their first Humanities Division Showcase. Students submitted their best work, which displayed many talents across the campus. I submitted a game that is called Make America Great Again. It's uh, making fun of all the politics right now, and uh, it was a privilege for the class that is uh, desktop game the Linwood Belvo students, through this opportunity, revealed how they are like no other from their film, artwork, code, and web design. Hopefully uh, people can appreciate how talented our students are. Um, a lot of creativity, everything from pencils to pixels. Um, students uh, amaze me and uh, it's a reminder to uh, always stay creative and, and curious about the arts and learn more. Um, yeah, it's just uh, amazing what a wide variety of uh, talent we have here. Um, and, and that's what the Humanities Showcase is, is to help highlight the collaboration and the dedication that that takes for students to, to complete these projects. For LBTV News, this is Shaq Shanks. As part of the showcase, the Hyperlinks Club hosted their augmented reality experience. Everyone was welcome to come peer into a parallel universe with the help of a special app on their phone or tablet. Ashley Brainmeyer was there to check it out. Lindenwood's Hyperlinks hosted its first ever augmented reality experience at this year's Com Showcase. Students, faculty, and community members were able to attend this one-of-a-kind event. Last semester, we had done a lot of research with um, augmented reality and 3D modeling. And so this semester, we kind of started with everybody kind of learning a little bit of 3D modeling. And then we decided, okay, what can we actually do with this? And we, over time, that just kind of evolved into this idea of an experience where you enter and you you are entering into this kind of maybe a little bit of a uh, unusual space um, and you're kind of exploring that space through this uh, through this app by using the the AR you're finding items in that location. Hyperlinks members have worked hard all semester on this creative and unique event and their preparation has produced an incredible result. That's why he People have spent so much time and so many hours outside of class and outside of school here till 9, 10 o'clock at night all day long really working everyone together to pull this off and make something great that everyone can experience. The students did have done an amazing job um, just organizing this whole thing and actually making it happen. All who attended the Hyperlinks event were both surprised and entertained by the experience. Who knew peering into a parallel universe would be as easy as looking through your cell phone? For LBTV News, I'm Ashley Brammeyer. With the stress of classes and end of semester finals, the Psych Club hosted sheltered dogs from the Belleville Area Humane Society last Wednesday. The dogs were used as a calming tool to get students to unwind and relax before the start of finals. Last Wednesday, the Psychology Club hosted Doggy De-Stressing Day on the Lindenwood Belleville campus in the Sunken Gardens and near the library. I love all of the puppies because they're puppies. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really know. Like, they're all angels. Shelter dogs from the Belleville Area Humane Society came out to campus to play, spread some love, and help students escape from the stress of finals week. At the Belleville Area Humane Society, our mission is to find uh, homes for companion animals, adoptable companion animals like Ricky here. We have uh, four other dogs with us here visiting the Lindenwood students today, and we're having a great day so far, and we appreciate being invited. Um, we're grateful to serve the community and have been for over 60 years, and we're a limited admission shelter just on South 11th Street, uh, really right across the street from campus, and we uh, help animals from our local animal control facility, Find Forever Homes, and then we also help out people in the event that they need to surrender their animal and use us to help rehome their animal. If you want to find out more about adopting and learn more about the animals at the Belleville Area Humane Society, 
visit their website at bahspets.org. For LBTV News, this is Brian Gorman. So Raven, are you a dog or a cat person? I'm definitely a dog person. They're so much cuter than cats. <laughs> Same. I just Cats, they're not too friendly to me, so I prefer dogs. <laughs> Same. Well, you're watching LBTV News. We'll be right back after this break. The Sigmas of Lindenwood Belleville held their first Pious Sigma event in the courtyard. Pie and whipped cream were not eaten, but thrown at the Sigmas to get students to loosen up before the upcoming week of exams. LBTV's Ajay Woodson was there for the fun. Last week, the Gamma Mu Gamma chapter of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity held Pious Sigma in the courtyard in front of the calf. Students were able to come smash whipped cream and pieces of pie into a Sigma's face. The goal is was just to actually smudge it all in your face, get it all around, the whole 360. The whole 360. I just wanted to pie someone. Pious Sigma was one of the many activities held last week in order to get students involved in the first annual Sigma Week. Sigma Week included multiple activities, including a barbecue in the sunken garden and a movie night in the Dixon. Yeah, they all seem pretty fun, so I'm pretty sure I want to attend all of them. This was a way students could get to know Sigmas of LUB while having some much needed fun. Be on the lookout next year as the Sigmas expand their brotherhood and cross new members. For LBTV News, I'm Anjane Woodson. Last week, Madison County, Illinois elected the first female mayor the city has ever had in its 205 years of establishment. Reporter Brendan Overton got a first-hand look into this amazing moment in Madison County history. Madison County, Illinois was established 205 years ago in 1812, and since that time, it has only seen males in the mayoral office, that is, until today. I assume that there had been other women, but it wasn't anything that I had really thought about. It wasn't something that uh, stayed on my mind, oh, I'm going to be the first or second or whatever. And uh, it wasn't until that we actually won that we started getting uh, calls from newspapers and stuff like that, that, oh, you're the first ones in the history of Madison County, you know, to be female mayors. I mean, I think it's a, it's a good thing, and I am surprised that it has taken this long. Being the first mayor that's a female is just kind of happened. I mean, I have, we have Sharon Cadell, who's uh, a councilwoman. You know, she's been on for quite a while. Uh, we have another woman coming on, Gail Ufert. And we had women in the early 80s, Dorothy Council, and we had Anna Culp that was elected in the mid-80s. So being a woman on the council is not new to the people. It just happens that uh, this is the first time woman mayor. Well, you know what? It really hasn't taken that long. We have countries, you know, our country's only uh, a minutia old compared to other countries in the world. And there's other countries in the world the women have no place or no say. So honestly, this country's come a long way quickly. I think with the new millennials that, that they have a different mindset, that they, uh, they look at things in, in, with different um, views. And I think once, um, you know, once our generation is passed, I, I think that there'll be a lot of changes. I think women will be more accepted, that they'll look at them as uh, the leadership that they can do rather than what gender they are. I'm Brennan Overton for LBTV News. On this week's Educator Story, Brian Gorman got the chance to speak with staff member Michelle Stanford. Michelle is known around campus for her excellent work with welcoming new freshmen and ensuring a good first year experience. Here's the story. For our final professor spotlight this semester, LBTV News had a chance to sit down with the director of the first year program here at Lindenwood Belleville, Professor Michelle Stanford. 
So I coordinate the first year program. Basically that means that I oversee all of the freshman programming, first year being freshman students. So that ranges from everything from our LUL freshman experience class to our 2020 freshman leadership group to planning new student orientation, basically everything related to the freshman student body. Just that there's a really great support system here on campus. So anytime they need anything, they have problems, they have questions, they just want to chat, they need a cheerleader. That's what we're all here for, just to kind of support them and know that we're just a big family and anything they need, we can help them with. Even though Professor Sanford has a lot on her plate with running the program, her influence has helped new freshmen adjust to college life. When I had Ms. Sanford for, for freshman experience, um, she taught me uh, time management. She taught me how to cope with all of the, the pressures of, of college, whether it was academic, social, um, like, you know, uh, how to associate with the right, the, uh, right, the right people, um, and just basically just to have fun with college. For LBTV News, this is Brian Gorman. Last Friday, the Sigmas hosted a comedy night in Matt's Cafe. Many students gathered around to listen to the different comedians. Anchor Raven LaFleur was there to capture the moment. I'm glad to be here. Zach, I, I want to thank you. Homa, Sigma, I want to thank you. Sigma. Friday night, many students gathered in Matt's Cafe to listen in on a comedy night hosted by the Sigmas. Three comedians from the St. Louis area we're welcome to the campus to give our students a break before finals week. And it was a good show. We had about 20, 30 people that showed up, and we had a lot of laughs. Each comedian brought their own life experiences and made their jokes relatable to the students. I've been funny since I was born. But I, I actually, uh, you know, it started in the lunchroom. You know, and, and you started in the lunchroom in high school, Joan, and then talking noise. But then um, they had like a, a, a comedy thing in uh, East St. Louis. And I tried out, and I've been doing it ever since. So it's been a little bit over a year that I've been started, and I've, been, I've done at least 40 shows since then. So. Overall, the night brought many laughs and turned out to be a success. Reporting for LBTV News, I'm Raven LaFleur. That's it for this week. I'm Anjanae Woodson. But before, I want to give a special thanks to Ashley Brandmeyer, Shaq Shanks, Sean Ditch, Richard Burgess, and Brendan Overton. And I'm Raven LaFleur. We'd also like to thank our teachers, Christopher... Sabo and Scott Morris. Thanks for watching LBTV News. See you next semester.